What you doing? Easter eggs uh, searching. Yeah, okay. I already found it. <laughs> ah, another one. What? Ah, another one. So it's just the most amazing sunrise. It's the 4th of April, Easter 2021, and we're on our way to the Azores. Um, it's our sixth day out at sea. It's just stunning, so beautiful. Just all the right surroundings, amazing. We're sailing along so nicely. It's just the best wind ever. We're just like flying during eight, nine knots. Um, just got a few clouds, had a lot of rain last night. But it's just beautiful now. And 
I had to gun him. Uh, me, Mike, Lucas, or Florian was taking her hostage. I didn't do anything. At least one of them, because I know she was like the other
Uh, so in the Azores, in, in Horta actually specifically, it's been a really long tradition for sailors to paint uh, a dock painting uh, because it's a long crossing to get there either way. And um, yeah, it's a bit of a, an achievement and um, everyone, every sailor who comes in there leaves a little mark that they, they've made it there. So um, of course we also do that. So I really love the Azores. It's so stunning. And um, I guess the vegetation and the climate really reminds me of New Zealand. So that's maybe why I love it a bit more. But um, yeah, it's just beautiful to, to walk around here. And we did a lovely hike uh, around the caldera. Hey, can you stop? My wallet. Yeah, you did. These are rough. Hello. I messed up. I, I mixed one thing. Now it's not going to be the same. Uh oh. <laughs> Good job! Can I keep going? Yeah. Okay, I'm coming. You can go. So the guppy games are made up of a couple of different games and they can get points for each game that they win. Um, in this specific game they need to paddle to the other side, touch a boat and come back uh, and their entire group needs to do it and the, the time of the whole group is counted. Really horrible. This is really going. Oh. Yeah, she's on there. Stop. Right, Five minutes for seven. Um, they needed to pedal somewhere with the dinghy. Yes, we left the engines in on purpose. It was tough. Um, and they needed to raise a flag on the other side and then come back. <laughs> All right. So we'll do a quiz. Yeah, you can. Uh, if you don't think you know the answer, you can. Tap your uh, glass. Um, if a vessel sounds three short blasts, what does the signal mean? Goodbye. And uh, we didn't tell you. Don't even tap yet. Yeah. 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 That's all. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna move backwards. <laughs> yeah. Yay! What? I'm gonna move backwards. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, question. question three. Someone asks you how much does she draw? What do they want to know? Like, how many drawings she made? No. <laughs> it's boat related, yeah? Oh, it's boat related. Yeah, I it's just so boat related. I thought it would be fun, but... We have some more ideas, in case. <laughs> you don't well, come like, up with any of them. No. No? Okay. Okay. Well, it's uh, going back. it's the what? depth of the boat. Oh, the wait. Oh, I kind of thought you were. <laughs> what is the Coriolis effect? The what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me think. This is not really how it works, then. No, no, this is. Yeah. I know, this is something I, think, I don't think I'm geography, and it's 
something to do with... Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I know! <laughs> I know! <laughs> it's something it's... to do with Korea. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's that, uh... Okay. We, it, since the Earth is moving, the winds, they don't go... Yeah, they don't go straight to the equator, but they are, like, round because we move. Is that it? Yeah! Ah! yeah. It's, it's because the Coriolis is practiced because the Earth is spinning. Yeah. That determines whether the the low pressures or the high pressures. Oh, that's why they're air high going around in circles and not just moving straight. Not, not, the wind doesn't go straight to the low pressure. It goes. No. Yeah. So yeah, here we have the cookie eating challenge. So you put a cookie on your forehead and you have to eat it completely without using your hands. You're only allowed to drop it three times. Whose team is he? <laughs> Not mine. <laughs> <laughs> team Decker. Ah. I get tasted already. Mm. I had it almost in my mouth. Oh, 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 it's almost close. Ash, <laughs> you did it as well. You're doing great, Tim! So the end score actually turned out to be really close. Um, I forgot the exact score, but I, I think the one group had won five challenges and the other one six. So, um, yeah, it was uh, really good games. Uh, so we stay a little bit longer on Horta than planned. Uh, that's because there's a bit of a front coming over that I would like to pass before leaving. So um, yeah, we're just going to let that pass over the islands and uh, leave right after the worst of it has passed for our last stretch of this voyage.
go. Happy birthday, dear Solner. Happy birthday to you. Keep it a peep. Hula. Keep it a peep. Hula. Keep it a peep. Hula. Um, yep, yeah, big cleanup day and while we're at it, we're also um, taking stock of everything that we still got. So we're just counting uh, the food and drink and everything that's left.
Okay, here we have Florian trying to land the drone. Uh, we have discovered a great technique. It involves flying into stuff. <laughs> What an amazing journey this has been. Um, I just want to thank everyone who has sailed with us, crew, students. Uh, you were all so much fun to have. Thank you so much for your laughter, for your smiles, for your endurance, for your positivity. Um, you'll also stay in our hearts forever and we just loved it so much. <laughs>